I was inspired to get involved in the space program when the Apollo 11 lunar landing happened on my seventh birthday. Capcom, we're go for landing. Altitude. There were echoes of that with the landing of Curiosity in 2012. go for landing, 3,000 feet. So I never had the, what do you want to be when you grow up, or uncertainty about what I wanted to be. I always wanted to work in the space program. The Eagle has landed. I think the overall goal of JPL is to unlock the mysteries of the universe for planet Earth. And it's a privilege exploring the cosmos on behalf of our tiny third rock from the sun. So TMAX is our advanced design team, and before anything becomes a project, it's really an idea. And we help try to find the solutions to a point design to go anywhere in our universe. It's really about turning an idea into a realizable concept. While one person might have an idea, in order to make that idea become a mission, it takes a lot of people to do that. So it's really about putting all the right people in the room that can find that solution. So if I had a theory behind teamwork at JPL, I would split it up into two different arenas. Scientists working with scientists is one kind of teamwork. On Curiosity, the science community, there's several aspects of their approach to how they make decision making. Of course, we have the overall objectives of the mission is to assess the habitability and habitability history of Mars. There is a project science group, which are the most senior scientists led by our principal investigator for the mission. And they're the ones who set the overarching strategic goals for the science community. Then there's the other arena, which is the, the work of doing a, a mission. So the Cassini mission is a flagship mission to Saturn. We're about to embark on an incredible end of mission. There were big questions that we did not have answered. Big questions about Saturn's interior. Big questions about the mass of the B-ring. And one of the ways to answer those questions was to plunge the spacecraft in between the planet and the rings. And so the scientists went to the experts, the navigation team that does the trajectory, and they said, so, what do you all think? Is this possible? And they worked for many years, and we worked together, and we came up with this exciting end of mission that is going to take us 22 times in between the planet and the rings until finally we plunge into the planet itself. It all starts with the scientists, but you very quickly have to pull in the rest of the team. As with many projects, there's this healthy tug of war between science and engineering. Uh, we always want to do our best for the scientists, but sometimes we have to protect them from their own voracious appetites. They want to do so much, and we encourage that, but not at the expense of our spacecrafts. The engineers need to understand what the science is going after so that they can help us, and the scientists need to understand what the engineers are worried about and what is causing them to have constraints on what the science is that we do. Even when we have an engineering meeting, we make sure science is well represented so that they uh, can tell any little thing we're doing in the spacecraft that might affect science return. And then similarly, when scientists are meeting, there's often engineering representatives to have this dose of reality and make sure that anything they're trying to do is safe for the spacecraft. We then also have a set of strategic and super tactical teams who are thinking ahead. What should be our, our goals and where should we be steering the vehicle? To so you maximize the science and yet are as safe as possible, risk averse with engineering. It's really exciting to see a team come together in that collective knowledge solving a problem when there's no one person that could pull that off. If we bring the team together, that fosters a spirit of camaraderie. We appreciate each other more and, and our unique challenges and what it takes to make the vehicle work. It isn't about the personality. It's about what are we going to learn for the benefit of humanity. I think the future of space exploration is very bright. We're going to extend human presence in the solar system. There's a whole universe out there waiting to explore. Can't wait to do it.